Hey guys, it's Art Weston. Uh, this is going to be a fun test. Um, I'm going to be testing on day's tournament line 20 pound, um, but I'm doing it via um, having soaked it uh, for two days. So one of the things that the IGFA does to simulate the real fishing environment before they test their lines is they soak their line for two hours. Um, and the standard expectation is that the uh, water absorption of the line will weaken it to a degree. And so they tend to see lines break at below what they would if they were dry. Now, that doesn't uh, happen as much with line like braided line, et cetera, but monofilament, fluorocarbon, and copolymer it does. So um, I just tested this one dry at 20.8 and had previous tests right around 21 pounds. So Roughly 21 pounds is the expectation of, of this monofilament breaking um, um, dry. Um, I've got a the soak sample, like I said, for soaked for over two days, uh, ready to go. And let's see where it breaks at. My, I don't know, I'm going to make a guess at 19 pounds. Let's see. Five pounds. 10, 15, 17.4. So it looks like the camera shifted. Sorry about that. It must have been the table. Um, anyway, um, I'm not going to redo this because I don't have any other line so for two days. So we're going to keep this video. Uh, but the breaking strength went down fairly significantly from a 21 pound average dry breaking strength to 17.4 pounds after two days of soaking. Obviously, people wouldn't be soaking in line for two days, but it does demonstrate that water absorption uh, in line like monofilament does degrade the breaking strength of line. Anyway, I thought you guys might find that interesting. Bye.